Never in any of Scribblenaut's remixes 50 odd stages will you need to spawn a giant rainbow beaver, or a shy fire breathing winged hamster, or Tom Jones riding a tiny helicopter made of ice. If you really want to, of course, you can spawn any of those, or all of these things, and watch what happens when they collide. This bonkers DS port lets you type just about any word, as long as it's not copyrighted, vulgar, or massively obscure, into a text box and watch it magic into existence. Developer Fifth Cell evidently devoured dictionaries and Wikipedia lists making tiny 2D facsimiles of just about every noun in existence, from bacon to badger, and they all come complete with individual attributes and personalities. You can add adjectives too, to ensure your dinghy is red or your bridge is sopping wet. Scribblenauts gives you free reign to try out these impossible creations and implausible death matches in its sandbox title screen. This creative extracurricular start menu imposes no rules or boundaries, and lets you find out exactly who would win in a fight between God and Cthulhu. It lets you truly test the depths of its dictionary, and lets you put a hat on a giraffe. Sadly, such a staggering database of things is resolutely squandered in the game's lifeless series of brain-dead challenges. What use is the ability to create a Royal Rumble starring a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a zombified monkey when your task is to type in five objects that would probably be in a town? It's preschool stuff, and often illogical, as you painfully prod words into a text box until you finally stumble on the exact handful of nouns that the level designer was dreaming up when he made the stage in question. The levels are crushingly uninspiring, painfully cryptic, and more often than not, just plain dumb. Every now and again, the game gives you a more suitable challenge. Cross shark infested waters, deliver treasure to a pirate, cause the extinction of the dinosaurs without weapons or asteroids, and it's here that your imagination can be tapped. It's not about finding the right tool for the job. It's about magicking in the first object you think of and seeing if it will work. It's about being outlandish, abstract, and creative. If you could drop a toaster into the sea to electrocute the sharks, or unleash a prehistoric ichthyosaur to gobble up the oversized guppies. You can also lasso the treasure and transport it on a UFO, or tie it to a balloon and ferry it across with a fan on a giant stepladder. You can unleash a matter-sucking black hole to do in the dinos, or take your cue from the Bible and spawn in God to sort them all out. It's in these stages that Scribblenauts lets you exploit your rarely used childlike imagination to solve puzzles in pointlessly time-consuming, but workable ways. But these moments are few and far between. Remix nabs 40 stages from the DS original Scribblenauts and its so-called super sequel, but for some reason it takes more of the dull, cryptic puzzle levels from the latter and fewer of the action stages from the former. The iOS exclusive stages don't inspire much awe either. It also drops one of the best ideas from the first games, where you could replay levels but were banned from using the same words as before. To get those bonus points, you couldn't rely on easy tools like ropes, ladders, and helicopters. You were truly forced to think outside the box. That entire system is gone. It's down to you to challenge your own creativity this time. Thankfully, another less attractive feature of Scribblenauts is absent. It's dodgy controls. Thanks to some streamlined ideas, the larger screens of the iPhone and iPad, and an overall revamp of the way the chicken-headed protagonist Maxwell moves, you'll spend far less time accidentally swanning off into a pool of lava. But despite being given a third stab at the concept, the well-meaning creator has just never solved Scribblenaut's most basic hurdle. Can you give a player an unlimited resource of things and bits and bobs and doodads and narwhals and whales, while creating levels that stretch the imagination without veering off into illogical word hunting? It leaves Scribblenaut's remix in much the same state as it was on the DS, an unimaginably cool gimmick that was well worth the price of admission, especially at its budget app store price, just to see what it's capable of, or to watch a monkey drive a truck. But the game can't offer challenges that inspire you to delve into its bursting thingiverse. Oh, and the time machine doesn't work. What's up with that? <laughs>